Hello, amazing students. I am so excited to start our poetry unit today. Now, before you start saying, no, not poetry, please just give it a chance. I think you'll surprise yourself when you find your creative voice. Our objective today is to introduce poetry and review simile, metaphor, and personification. Now, the first thing I want to do is share this um, spoken word YouTube video with you. You see, poetry isn't always about love and trees and flowers. It can be about anything, even in this case, social media. So let's take a listen. Oh my god, I'm like, you're like DJ Khaled. Khaled. 
I fear for the human race and what it has become. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. stop. I need to snap at this. Hey guys, it's me, Marsha, with my band, Jason. So as you just saw, poetry doesn't have to be written. It can be spoken. And in fact, it's meant to be read aloud. Let's jump in with figurative language. If you, you remember, figurative language is writing or speech that's not meant to be taken literally. These are a few um, things I found. First one, we got Mrs. Potato Head and her kid. And it says, don't you roll your eyes at me, young man. And then at the bottom, we've got Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. His brain hops out of his skull, wanders off, and he goes to his mom lying on the couch. I, I let my mind wander, and it didn't come back. And she responds, I figured you'd lost your mind years ago. Again, figurative language in both cases. Here we go. We're gonna start with personification. When human characteristics are given to an animal or an object. Some examples below, the stars winked at me, the wind whistled through the trees, let the rain kiss you, let the rain sing you a lullaby. Something that all of these have in common is the personification seems to come through in the verbs winked, whistled, kiss, and sing are all actions people do, not inanimate objects or, in most cases, animals. The last two examples are from a poem that we're going to see on the next slide. So as I read through the poem, you can follow along, and I want you to see if you can find other examples of personification. Langston Hughes um, wrote April Rain Song. It goes like this. Let the rain kiss you. Let the rain beat upon your head with silver liquid drops. Let the rain sing you a lullaby. The rain makes still pools on the sidewalk. The rain makes running pools in the gutter. The rain plays a little sleep song on our roof at night. And I love the rain. So he's got some personification at work there. The other thing you probably notice is the repetition of the word rain in certain phrases, but we'll talk about that later because that's also an important part of poetry. Simile is the next one we're gonna review today. It's a figure of speech that uses like or as in order to make a direct comparison between two unlike ideas. Here's some examples. The fluffy cloud was like cotton candy. It's comparing the way the fluffy cloud is to how cotton candy is. He was as angry as a grizzly bear. We have tomorrow bright before us like a flame. That last one, again, is taken from a poem, which we'll be reading on the next slide. Also by Langston Hughes, this one is called Youth. We have tomorrow bright before us like a flame. Yesterday, a night gone thing, a sundown name. In dawn today, broad arch above the road we came, we march. And the last one we're going to be covering today is metaphor. A metaphor is a figure of speech in which something is described as though it were something else. It works by pointing out a similarity between two unlike things. It's really similar to a simile, except no like, as, or as if. So some examples of metaphor. The moon is a lantern guiding my way in the dark. The linebacker was a bulldozer plowing through everyone in his way. 
and I am the wood and glue which hold us all together with my love. The last one, as you can probably guess, is from a poem which we'll find on the next slide. This is called My Family. My family lives inside a medicine chest. Dad is the supersized band-aid, strong and powerful, but not always effective in a crisis. Mom is the middle-sized tweezer, which picks and pokes and pinches. David is the single small aspirin on the third shelf, sometimes ignored. Muffin the sheepdog is a round cotton ball, stained and dirty, that pops off the shelf and bounces in my way as I open the door. And I am the wooden glue, which hold us all together with my love. I found this poem online and I thought it was um, pretty good. All right, now, I want you to try to figure this one out, okay? This one is a poem, but it's really a long metaphor. And I want you to try to figure out what is the white sheep, okay? White sheep, white sheep on a blue hill. When the wind stops, you all stand still. When the wind blows, you walk away slow. White sheep, white sheep, where do you go? Okay, so it's not a sheep, obviously, and I want you to type your answers in the Google Classroom under this post once you've figured it, figured it out. All right, and that brings us to our last slide. It's practice time. There are some links in Google Classroom for IXL for some review on personification, simile, and metaphor. Remember, once you reach the score of 80, you can go on to the next one. If you have any questions, you can pop into our Zoom office hours or email us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And also, you can rewatch this if you need to review again. All right, everyone. See you later.